Instead of increasing the level of care, the President's plan actually empowers government bureaucrats to determine which medical treatments you will be acceptable and which will be too expensive. They'll decide what medical care you're getting. I don't think so either. Similar plans, similar plans implemented already in Canada and Great Britain are failing. It's failing in, in, in those countries. Many, many people in Canada, many people today in Canada wait, wait months for key procedures and many others die waiting. Why do the Democrats say they want to give everyone health care coverage and then the first thing they do is take it away? Why do they do that? Power. The left does not do good. The left wants power. America today, today, across this country, millions of people, millions of Americans are waking up to the devastating consequences we will suffer if President Obama and the Democrats succeed in implementing their left-wing agenda. The pioneering culture, the pioneering culture that made America strong and successful is a culture of individual freedom and responsibility, hard work and innovation. We must rebuild and preserve this culture and pass this legacy on to future generations. This, this is the key to our future liberty, security and success. Let's give liberty a chance. Thank you very much. I'm sure I'm going to hear from them again, uh, so I have a little fun with them. Uh, by the way, Glenn was talking about cap and trade and, and global warming, and, and I, what a great scam this is. Yeah, I mean, th think about this. Now, you got to understand, this was dreamed up in the early 1980s by Maurice Strong, who most people never heard of. He lives in China. He's a big man behind the curtain at the UN. And, uh, and picked up by George Soros and others. Oh, boy. And, 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 and the way that you get the, way that you get the, uh, the, the scientific response that you want is you fund scientists, and when scientists come back and say, yep, global warming, you give them more money. And the ones that come back and say, no, I couldn't find anything, you don't give them any. So after a while, you're getting the answer that you want, see, from the scientific community. So, so you demonize something that's ubiquitous, you demonize it, and then you charge for it. And you establish that it has a value, and then you start trading it back and forth. And then if you're Al Gore, you start a company that trades in worthless carbon. Are you serious? The only time carbon's worth anything is when it's a diamond. Anyway, oh by the way, tomorrow on the show we have a, a story of a, there's a Harvard, a Harvard educated client, climate scientist who just came out and said, you know, it's really mostly the sun. He said, you know, it's the sunspots. And I'm thinking, duh. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the 912 Project, State of Pennsylvania, will discuss the 912 Project and how you, and you all should, can get involved in it. Paul Rorick. Come on out here, Paul. Hey, everybody. I'm glad that uh, Jim and Glenn were able to get you all feisty, because I'm going to ask you a couple questions in a minute. So I, I've been given literally two minutes, two, to tell you about Project 912. So it's not a lot of time, so I thought I would do something a little bit different to, you know, get you in the mood about what 912 is all about. So as we do this exercise, I, I hope in the process you'll be able to understand what it really is. And you have taken that first step by being here today, along with thousands of others all over the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and literally millions of people all over the United States. And it's a great thing. It's a great thing to be able to stand out here today with you. And I feel very proud to do that with you. So on March 13th, TV and radio personality Glenn Beck. There you go. He asked a very, very simple question. And he wanted to know how you felt on 9-12, the day after 9-11. And I want you to think about how you felt on 9-12.
we felt, I think, very proud. We were stunned, but we were proud because we saw Americans helping other Americans, right? It didn't matter if they were a Democrat, a Republican, a Libertarian, or if they didn't believe in anything. These were people who needed help, and other Americans, other citizens stepped up, just like you and just like me. Strangers helping strangers, the home of the brave. We were proud on that day, we were united in purpose. People in New York City, in Washington DC, at the Pentagon, here in the hills of central Pennsylvania, they all learned that they were not alone. And I'm here to tell you, neither are you. You are not alone. Because I know all of us are here together. We the people! So if you want to know about what, what the 912 project is all about, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, or actually rather give you a couple of statements. And since you're so feisty, I think I'm going to get some good participation. So if you agree with these things, I want you to tell me. Tell us. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends who are here. Ready? Okay. The first one. We all love our country. Okay, very good. So far we're in agreement. The second one. We know that our country was built on certain principles and values. All of you here today, we can all agree we are concerned about our country. We want our elected representatives to hear us. And here's the thing. You know, I'm, I'm getting close to 50 years old, and for the last 30 years, I've been doing things by myself, and it hasn't worked. So we all know that we cannot do this alone. We have to work together. So. I did it. That's what the 912 project is all about. It seems that you are all 912ers just like me. Right. And I need your help. We need your help. Okay? We are working hard right now to network all the people who believe these things together in Pennsylvania. There's a group of us that are starting this work. It's a hard process, but we need your help. We are working to network everyone so that we are one voice so that we're powerful and that we are finally heard and i don't know if uh, this is a special note i don't know if mk is out there but i'm going to just say mk we need to work together so look around i want you to look around and i read i wore my red jacket today for a reason because not only is it warm but you might be able to see some people out there that have shirts like this. This is the 912 project in Pittsburgh. There are a thousand of us now working together on this project in different sites throughout Pittsburgh. If you see somebody with this shirt, ask them about the nine principles and the 12 values that make up the 912 project. And there's also a website, all right? We need you guys, all of us, to start working together. And so now you know what the 912 Project is all about. Thank you. I'm back for president! There you go. No cocktail parties, though. Obama, Pelosi, Reed. The axis, the axis of evil. I sent, um, I sent Barney Frank. Did you hear that Henry Waxman? Henry Waxman's got a plan whereby you you can be sued for your impact on global warming. How do you prove that? You know, I'm sure there's some lawyer out there who'll try, but. Uh, 